Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Cholula's Comics, and I am back. It's been a minute, but I'm back with, uh, actually, with quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. Um, got some eBay hauls. I got my Wednesday new comic book day pickups. And believe it or not, you guys, man, I got a ton of thank yous to say for some very recent acts of kindness, hookups, whatever you want to call them. But some, uh, some people have been very good to me, and... Uh, I got to say thank you. I, I really got to say my thank you. So um, without further ado, let's see. Let me show you guys what I got. Let's start off with uh, a couple of eBay pickups. Um, recently, I have gone ahead and picked up uh, a couple of copies. Well, actually, uh, another set. This is actually, Old Man Logan is actually a storyline that I pick up. It's on my uh, my weekly pull. Um, you know, I'm a Wolverine head, so I got to keep my Old Man Logan stuff up. Since I don't got real Wolverine back just yet. I mean, they've been teasing them, but not back just yet. So, uh, Past Lives is a storyline that goes from issue 21 through 24 of Old Man Logan. Um, it's a really cool story because it's kind of like a retelling of some of the old storylines that Wolverine went through. But with a little bit of a twist of an Old Man Logan type of a twist. Um, and I really like the covers. It's all the same pose. Um, this is, here's number 24. And I'll come back to that one in just a minute. But it's uh, it's kind of cool because it's it's the same pose. It's Wolverine. Well, I guess Old Man Logan, but as Wolverine, right? Um, so you see him here in the first uh, part of the four-part storyline in his classic suit, you know, with the short fins and the, uh, you know, just the, the thinner looking. He's more svelte looking, you know, he's smaller looking, kind of like how he first appeared in Hulk 181. And as a matter of fact, you see Hulk 180 and 181 and... Uh, actual frames from the from those comics um, in the background there. Actually, even you see Giant Size X-Men there. Um, Past Lives number two, now we get the uh, the brown and orange suit. So now you have more of his like Weapon X days, which is what you see in the background there. Um, you see his solo, stor solo storyline when, like when he first appeared with uh, in the Frank Miller run. Um, Old Man Logan, now we're seeing more like the the Jim Lee style X Men up to current style X Men, uh, regular uh, traditional, I guess you would say, uh, blue and yellow suit, and then finally in issue twenty four, we see the more you know grizzled. We see the more uh, senior veteran, gray haired, kind of beat up old man Logan. Um, and in the background, the comics you see in the background here, are, you know, key issues. Well, I guess uh, key storylines for old man Logan. Um, so this was a um an eBay pickup that I got and um shit I want to say I got it for like 16 bucks so it's, you know damn near cover price shipped um you know it's not bad I, I really like them so I don't mind having a second copy cuz I pretty much purchased these all off the rack um uh, as they came out but this is my second pickup of them and I like them I wanted them um another thing I recently picked up on eBay Picked up four sets of these uh, Neil Adam prints. These I can't hold up for very long because they're actually 11 by 17 prints. Um, it's their prints of the comic variants that Neil Adam did. He did cover swipes. He basically cover swiped himself. Uh, this is Green Lantern number 49. And you see Neil's signature down here in gold, which is pretty sick. Um, and he signed all four of these. So um, you know what? And to be honest with you guys, let me know what you guys think in the description below. Or in the comments below, I'm thinking, you know, I've been racking my brain. Here's uh, Teen Titans number 17. Um, I've been my, racking my brain, basically, for ideas. I been, I know I've been teasing a contest. I don't mean to fucking tease it, but... And here's a signature there. Um, but, you know, I just... I don't know what to give away for prizes. And, and I think these are pretty cool. Um, they're, they're just prints, but, you know, it's still a... It's still a Neil Adams sig. And here goes uh, Telos. Number five, which, of course, is that uh, famous Superman breaking the chains, right? Neil Adams signed it right down there. And um, finally, Rob Robin, son of Batman, number nine. I think this one covers swipes, one of the first appearances of uh, Ra's al Ghul, if I'm not mistaken, with his signature there. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe this will be... One of the prizes that I give away in my uh, in my upcoming contest. Again, I know I've been teasing it for a minute and I got to get it out. But I just, man, I just, I don't know what to give away for prizes, you guys. So if anything, blame it on that. I suck at picking prizes. So 
that's what it is. All right. Anyway, so you know what? To be honest, that's all I got for uh, from eBay. I haven't been doing too much on that. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you my uh, my pickups uh, from this past Wednesday's New Comic Book Day. I love Bane, so I had to go out and get me that Bane Conquest. This is issue number ten. Um, I haven't these I have not started reading yet. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that I like to get the whole story first so that I can read it all in one shot. Same thing for this one, Batman White Knight. This one is cover A, Mr. Freeze on there. And here's cover B. Uh, next, this is another storyline that I've been picking up. This is Bombshells United, number 13. I just like the art. You guys know I don't collect a whole bunch of uh, pops and stuff like that, but that's those are one of the few series of pops that I did collect was the Bombshells because I really liked them. Harley Quinn, number 39. I haven't really been keeping up with the story. The only reason I've been keeping up with Harley Quinn at all is because the cover B artists have been really great. Uh, <sighs> Frank Cho's been on it for quite a while. Frank Cho's one. I love Frank Cho's work. Um, I wish I can get me a Frank Cho signature one of these days. Um, but I'm I, I'm definitely going to keep up with the Harley Quinns um, cover Bs at least because I've been liking the featured artists. Um, I want to say Frank Cho jumped on around issue 20 something. And before that was another one of my favorite artists, Bill Sinkovich. So um, I'm definitely going to keep up with the cover Bs. I, I'm not really feeling cover A's. I think it's uh, Amanda Connor has been doing them and no disrespect to her. I'm just haven't been feeling those covers. So. I'm going to go ahead and discontinue those probably. All right. So next I got my, um, actually I collect this series for my wife. This is Star, Star Wars, Darth Vader, number 10. I have not been reading these. We supposedly are supposed to start reading this together. This is number 11. And of course, this is the second series. But from what I hear, everything's been going really good with this book. And uh, this is number 12. I really like this cover. I really like the red lightsabers. Like, I get it. I would probably join the light side. I wouldn't go to the dark side if I had to pick. I'm not a huge Star Wars head, but man, those freaking red lightsabers are sick. Can I join the light side? Let me see. For you, for you guys uh, that are Star Wars fans, can I be on the opposite end of the dark side but still run with a red lightsaber? Because if I can, that's that's what I would do. All right. Anyways. Uh, Captain America number 699 um, I decided to pick this one up honestly just based on the cover the art is cool but what really gets me is like anytime I see Hulk and thing on a cover I, I just have to pick it up that's one of my <laughs> that's one of my things I gotta pick up Hulk and thing on a cover um, they got a lot of great uh, uh, fights battles over the years and it's just one that I always have to pick up um, Infinity Countdown this is number one I decided to pick up this one. This one is a wraparound cover, which I probably shouldn't have put a board in, so I could have showed the back cover, dummy. But oh well, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it open real quick. In the meantime, I'll give you guys something to look at while I try to open that. In the meantime, I also picked up this R Germ uh, Supergirl number sixteen. I think this is my second copy of it. I don't have number twelve, and I'm trying to track down all those those copies. Um, I'm gonna get some off of Midtown. I'm gonna order some of those pretty soon. Um, I was trying to fight it and I'm not, I'm not going to be one of the guys that's going to spend like freaking 20 bucks, 30 bucks on those stupid covers. But if I find a cover for sure, I'm going to pick it up. It's, it's a nice cover. I like it. I enjoy it. I like our germ. Here's the back part to that wraparound. I don't, I really don't want to take it out, but let me just show you guys. So you got, it looks like a lot of the baddies on the back. Oh, you got a few good guys on the back too. Wolverine's on the front holding what looks to be the soul stone. You got other guys reaching out for other stones. It looks like, uh, um, let's see. Anyway, all right. So I picked this one up, like I said, because A, I love wraparound covers, and B, uh, I'm supporting my local artists. Uh, that one was done by Ron Lim, and Ron Lim actually is up in Sacramento, um, and I met him before. He's actually a really nice guy. He usually does really good artwork. Um, you know, he's famous, of course, for Thanos and all the... Uh, some Silver Surfer stuff. So, you know, I decided to pick up this wraparound cover. I thought it was pretty cool. All right. And my biggest win of this entire week 
all new Wolverine number 31. This is, of course, the Hulk 181 cover swipe variant. And I really, really love this book. <laughs> Anytime you're going to see a Hulk 181 cover swipe variant, you know I'm going to pick it up. Um, so I got this one locally. I have, I'm pretty sure I'll have one um, sitting in my pull box when I go home to visit over the weekend. Hopefully I can pick that one up. And I'm in the market for a third just because, I don't know, I like the, the trilogies. <laughs> I got to pick up three stuff. Sometimes that's my uh, that's my weird collector's habit, I guess. All right, so that's it for new books, old books, and stuff like that that I've picked up. Um, I'm going to start with one of my first thank yous. And you know what? I'm doing these in the order which I received them. Um, this past uh, holiday weekend, I got a chance to meet up with a fellow YouTuber, Evan. Evan, bro, man, I really gotta tell you thank you. Um, me, he and I had a lot of fun. He came down to the to the uh, to my area, and we visited a couple of comic book shops. We went hunting, and Evan's just like he's a really cool dude. He's really down to earth. Um, he was really I had a lot of fun hanging out with him, and uh, the guy came bearing. Listen, this is the kind of guy he is. Let me tell you, while we were hunting for books, honestly, the majority of the time that that we were hunting for books, me, him, and one of his friends that he brought down. Um, I was hunting for books for myself and so was his buddy. Evan was here and there, but Evan was really looking out for other fellow YouTubers. I'm not going to say who he was looking for books for, but there was at least three other guys and he was like, oh, this book is for so-and-so. Oh, I know, uh, you know, so-and-so has been looking for this book and man, that's fucking awesome. Like the guy did not have to do that. And he was just on the phone half the time calling people, Hey, weren't you looking for this book? Hey, I'm going to buy you this book. And that's freaking dope. And that's just to frame it in the kind of light uh, that this guy is. Let me show you. He even came bearing gifts. I, I I didn't expect this at all. You know, I didn't, I wasn't, I just thought he and I were going to hang out and the guy comes bearing gifts. Look at that. This is Weapon X, number one, a Ron Lim variant. <laughs> you know, I love me some Ron Lim. Um, and I didn't have this book and freaking he gives it to me just as a gift. Like, hey, hey, good to see you again. How you been? Let me give you these books. And that's freaking awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Did not have this one, so I was really pumped to get that. Um, dude, so he brings me a new book, and he brings me some Silver Age goodness. Look at that, Green Lantern. I believe this is number 49, I seen somewhere. 48, sorry. Green Lantern 48. Um, look at that, nice little 12 center. And in some Mylar. Gotta love it. Look at that. And he didn't stop there. He also brought down... He brought me this. Look at this. Original art by Amber Sombra. This looks like some, like, legit looks like some Campbell, doesn't it? You can see the influence, right? Especially in the face. Anyways, I really, really like this book. I mean, this uh, this piece of art. Um, he also brought um, gifts. We, we were going to meet up with another fellow YouTuber who shall remain nameless. And I'm not going to show the stuff that he had out there for him, but... He knows who he is, and uh, I haven't met up with him yet, so you know who you are. I'm going to meet up with you real soon, and I got some stuff for you, bro. So uh, hit me up. You already know what time it is. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, so Evan, brother, man, thank you so much. Like, again, that was really dope. You didn't have to do that, but I really, really appreciate it. And you know I got you next time. All right, so that's Evan. Uh, oh, you know what? As a matter of fact... This is also in some more pickups. Um, these are the pickups that I that I got while I was with Evan. This is a uh, all new, all daring Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man number one sixteen. Nice saber tooth on the cover there, fighting against the black suit Spidey. Uh, I picked up a copy of X Men one seventy one. Pretty clean copy. They were having a sale down um, because it was the holiday weekend, so they had some sales going on. And I filled in a nice little gap on my Hulk run. I got Hulk number 190. And I finally had the chance to go ahead and put all these in my lights. Hulk number 191. Look at that black cover. It's in really good condition, too. So I was happy to pick all of these books up. Um, Hulk 257 
And on top of that, Evan was working deals with the owner, good dude from a local comic shop. Um, and, he, and on top of the sale price, I think he got us like another 20% off. So, see, look at Evan. Evan is just a, a thoughtful dude, isn't he? Hulk number 279. So with this accept this so this is what acceptance feels like he says on the cover. Um, I believe this is right after the Secret Wars um, tie-ins. Uh, next we have Incredible Hulk number three thirty two. Um, this is the beginning of some of the well this is not the very beginning but these are some of those Peter David storylines that um, he that. Uh, Peter David finally took over as the author. These are really great stories. If you guys haven't had a chance to read these, I highly recommend them. Uh, it really gives you some insight into a turning po point in the Hulk storyline. This is Hulk 334. Um, and just giving the character a lot more depth. Um, you know, he's not just a one-dimensional character, always smashing, always fighting villains. This is really where he's like getting into a lot of that inner turmoil and fighting his good side versus his bad side. Not just as Peter Parker, but as the Hulk. This is Hulk 335, and I ended up picking up two copies. He had two copies there in the shop, and the reason I got them both is, let me show them. I'm going to show them side by side. One looks a lot more darker blue, and another one looks more purple. You see that? Um, so, you know, some collectors say that it's a variant. I've heard that it's just, uh, it just depends on the, the printing press and the colors that were there, but you guys can definitely see the, the difference in the colors. This one's a lot deeper and darker of a blue. The one in the back here is more purple, um, but both are in really good condition. So I don't know. I just picked them up. They were they were for the right price. I picked them up. You know, plus that twenty percent off. Good looking out again. <laughs> and finally, I picked this one up. Incredible Hulk number three thirty seven with a guest appearance of uh, X Factor. This is another good storyline uh, where um, Bruce Banner ends up in this. Uh, the city, he didn't know how he woke up there. Of course, he trashed it. Um, X-Factor, being the mutant hunters at that time, get called in because at first they didn't know what uh, what had caused all the damage to the city. Um, they go in, they see it's the Hulk. Uh, the Iceman ends up trapping them and freezing them in ice. And it's just this uh, pretty good dialogue amongst the team members of uh, X-Men. Just... They're wondering what they should do with them. Should they turn them in? Should they set them free? Um, you know, is he just going to hulk out and tear stuff up again? Or, you know, do they want to stay in the good graces of the government and uh, the good graces of uh, of the, the the general public? Or, you know, do they want to help out who could somebody who could potentially be an ally and a friend for them later on? So, again, this is part of that Peter David uh, uh, run from when he took over the Hulk. So... Some really good reads, you guys. If you guys are looking for uh, something to pick up, either new or just to uh, brush up on stuff, I really recommend Peter David's run on The Incredible Hulk. Really enjoyable stuff there. All right, so those were my pickups when me and Evan went out on the town, comic book hunting. Uh, so, again, good looking out, Evan. Appreciate it much. Oh, ooh, ooh, last thing. You guys know I don't pick up a whole lot of pops, right? But... I found this when we were out there. DC Superheroes number 231. The main freaking man. This is a PX Previews exclusive. Lobo. You can see his face. He's blood spattered. He's chomping on a cigar like he always is. Holding a couple of Uzis. Lobo, the main man. I'm going to put this guy in the back right here. Chilling as I show off some more books. I was really pumped and happy to pick that up. I wonder if I can put him... Nah, he looks good right there. All right, I'm going to leave him right there. All right, uh, moving on. What else do I got? Oh, next. You know what? This ties in. This ties in great. This is awesome. Okay, next, I got an act of kindness for my brother from another mother. He knows who he is. It's Tat Comics, you guys. And check out this sick-ass little sketch he sent me. Check it out. So this is uh, Wolverine, like kind of... Um, Post Weapon X, but pre coming out of the Canadian wilderness. So he's kind of lightweight feral. Um, Wolverine done in a Scotty Young style. Um, this is from Tat Comics. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate this. This is heck of cool. Um, so Tat sent me this today. 
Um, shot me a little note. Um, but I'm gonna keep this for sure. I'm keeping this in my collection. Um, and he sent me the whole point of him sending me a package was he got this for me. And this is a, a metals diecast figure, X Men Wolverine. I guess these are numbered up here, huh? M138. But this thing is freaking heavy, you guys. Um, I'm going to keep this with the rest of my pops. I, I collect, as I said before, very few pops. But the ones I'm definitely collecting is, of course, my main man and anything having to do with Wolverine. So I'm pumped to have this. Tat, really appreciate it, bro. Thank you. And you know what? The guy, <laughs> it's cool. I really love this community, you guys. Like, everybody's heck of cool in this community. Um, let's see if I can move Wolverine a little bit more up in the frame. Um, everybody in the community is heck of cool. Uh, everybody's trying to help each other out. Everybody's good to each other. And I got to say, like, the people that I function with, the people that I uh, speak to are are always, like, really awesome. I, I don't even have words to say how cool everybody is and how we're always looking out for each other. So, uh, you know, thank you all. If, if you guys are being mentioned in this video, that's, that's just how I feel about you guys. You guys, you know, you guys are cool like that, and, and I appreciate you guys. All right. So that's, oh, Tat, you know what? Let me tell you what kind of dude Tat is. Tat didn't even stop there. He knows I got kids. So he sent just a little play pack, a little sketch pad and, and uh, crayons for my kids. Spider-Man one, he knows I got a girl, a baby girl. So he sent me this little pet shop. I haven't given it to the kids yet. Actually, you know what the kids did get into, Tat? Um, the kids got it. So he sent me that. This stuff and then just this little mini foam football for the, you know, just for the kids to mess around with. And that was really cool, man. I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm not showing off the football because the kids did get into that and they already threw it around the living room and I couldn't find it anymore, but it it's in there somewhere. So just know that it's got put to good use and they're already playing with the stuff and they really appreciate it. So thank you, man. I, I appreciate it. That's that's freaking awesome. Uh, so big ups to, to Tat and Tat's Comics. Um, I'm going to put this down real quick. Cause I have the last and final piece of this uh, of this uh, video to show off. Um, my last and final thank yous go out to two members of the New York Warriors, uh, Celos One Eight Nine and Manny NYC, for for this really cool hookup. Celos hooked me up with three books and helped facilitate the signatures back at last year's New York Comic Con, and freaking Manny turned the books in for me. He helped facilitate the, the witness for the signatures and turn these books into me in, in for me at, um, at, uh, CBCS. And they're finally in, they just came in today. So I just got hit with all kinds of stuff today. And I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. Um, first book, Spider-Man number one came in at a 9.4 and it's signed by Scotty Young and Sarah Pacelli. Sarah Pacelli signed it down there. That's got you on right there. And I'm getting all kinds of glare. You can see my phone, but damn, I wish I could fix this fucking glare, you guys. Uh, I'm going to put it up here and see if that fit helps anything. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So again, uh, this is Spider-Man 1. Came in at 9.4. Got Scotty Young. This is my second Scotty Young signature. This is... Don't... Okay, take this for what it's worth. This is my favorite Spider-Man. I really love Miles Morales. He's a very endearing character. He's my favorite Spider-Man of the two. I mean, Peter Parker is dope. I love Peter Parker. Peter Parker got, in, got me in the Spider-Man. He's original. He's the OG. You're not going to not like Peter Parker. But I really like Miles. Like, I just connect with Miles. He's a cool-ass dude. Um, so I'm really excited to have this in my in my collection. And, of course, Miles got the black and red suit. There's a red and black background. You know I love me my red backgrounds. Freaking amazing, dude. I, I, can't, I can't even say enough. Thank you so much. Um, next... And, and I and I gotta I gotta the freaking guy Celos one eight nine he gave me all these books I I didn't pay for these books these weren't my books that I sent him he was like yo Bana I got all these books I'm gonna get them signed for you cool you want that you like that I was like man fucking good looking out like I didn't ask him to do none of this for me so again bro good looking out hell appreciate it check this out next this one you know what I gotta stop real quick this one is not for me this was for my wife. He straight up said that. This is for my wife because he knows she's a big-ass Darth Vader fan. Darth Vader, number two, came in at a 9.2. And this freaking thing is signed by, I don't know if you guys can see, Addie Granoff, Edgar Delgado, Kieran Gillen, 
Pablo Hidalgo, and Salvador La Roca. Five signatures on this book. Delgado, La Roca, Eddie Granoff is in here somewhere, Karen Gillen, and I believe that is Hidalgo? I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Some of those guys just put their initials on it. But man, that's that's a lot of work. I think if you guys remember one of the last, um, maybe two years ago, uh, when they had New York Comic Con, the, the New York Warriors were out there having all kinds of fun, and they were saying that Silos is the hardest man, working man at the Comic Con because he's out there getting signatures like a mug. Like, he'd be up in everybody's line, getting everybody's sig, and getting everybody's book signed. And at, while he's doing all that, he still thinks about other people. So, man, thank you very much for doing that for me, bro. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. I don't even know what to say. Like, to have a book like that in my collection. Well, <laughs> see, I'm over here taking credit. That's not my collection. <laughs> That's my wife's collection. She's the she's the Star Wars head. But, you know, I get to front like it's mine for once, for a little bit, for a little bit. <laughs> Anyways. All right. And this is the last book. This is my last thank you to those guys. This is Star Trek, The New Visions, number 18. Came in at a 9.8. Thank God. I mean, it's a brand new book. Came in at a 9.8. Witness Sig by John Byrne, the the incomparable, the elusive, and from what I hear, the very old and crotchety miserly John Byrne. He's a reclusive guy, but he signed right here. And it's pretty funny because it says, if you read the uh, the word bubbles, it says, that thing, that slithering blob coming towards us. What is it? It's Byrne. And then he signs it right there. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm freaking super pumped. To have a John Byrne signature, I don't know a whole lot of people that say that they could that can say that they have one. Uh, I'm glad to be amongst those that that group. Uh, and a huge thank you again to Celos, man. I know that was a lot of work. You didn't even have to do all that, but I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, Manny, good looking out, bro. I appreciate you putting these in for me and getting them out to me, man. Big thank yous to big thank yous all around. I feel real blessed to to know. Guys like you, like Evan, like Tat, Silos, and Manny, y'all hooked me up, and uh, you got me feeling real giving right now, so I got to figure out what I'm going to do for my uh, for my subscriber video, because I know I've been saying I need to do that, and I need to do it, um, and that's it. That's it, you guys. I'm going to leave you with this note. When you guys do these little acts of kindness, when you guys do these, man, I'm thinking about somebody and I just felt like getting them a, a little something. I watched somebody's video. I know they're looking for this book or I know they really like this character. You don't know how much it picks up and brightens their day. And it's, it's dope. You know what I mean? Like, I really think that's a cool thing for, for us to do for each other as a community. So keep that in mind. Uh, thanks to everybody who made all this stuff happen for me. Very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, cool. Shoot me a thumbs up. Shoot me a, a uh, a sub if that's how you feel if not it's all good anyways and you already know who it is it's Cholula's Comics till I see you next time keep stacking hella comics